All right, welcome back everybody. This is XL Tactical and thank you guys for joining me on another video. As you guys can take a look from the title, yes, this is an update to our 2021 gun collection. Also, thank you guys. We are at 3,000. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a quick thank you. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you are finding this channel for the first time, please consider subscribing. If you're coming back, welcome back. Um, in appreciation to getting us to 3,000, Please stay tuned. Do not skip all the way. Um, uh, there's going to be a couple of things that I'm going to be giving away for you guys. Oh my God! Wow! Nothing out of this world, but just my appreciation. Things that, that I've kind of have around here and companies that I've kind of worked with that I can um, help uh, any one of you guys out. But uh, yes, this is our update for our 2021 collection. Uh, we've been pretty busy during the summer, and I wanted to show you guys some of the pickups. We have lost a couple some of the way. No, God, please, no, no! But it's all in good favor uh, to make more room for some more goodies. Uh, but let's get right into it. All right, before we get started, just a quick disclaimer for YouTube. There are no max presence in any of the firearms that we're going to be dealing with today. No ammo nearby, and we are working around a safe environment. So please consider that before you demonetize this video. So here we go. This is the Walter P22. Uh, all of these here on the table are chambered in 22 long rifle. Uh, great little uh, firearm, 10 round capacity. My wife likes shooting this. My daughter started shooting with this when she first started <clears throat> into firearm shooting. It's got some gold accents. Uh, really good firearm for those that have trouble uh, managing recoil. Next off, we have our GSG 1911 chambered and 22 long rifle as well. Um, I do have another 1911 in my collection, right? And with ammo prices the way it is, I find that this is a great addition to my collection because I can go shoot, train with the same manual of arms and same weight, and you can shoot for less than $20 a whole day at the range. And lastly, we have our, our Taurus TX-22, which is, um, lead eater these little suckers eat everything you throw at it uh we did have a hiccup at the beginning of it but that was probably um just something out of the factory no repairs needed to do to this this thing has been performing flawlessly since the last update that i put on this i'm well over five thousand rounds it's probably going to be time that i start ordering some parts and pieces just in case just to maintain the longevity of this particular firearm but let's level up. Let's show you the next uh, Just like Call of Duty, you have some specialty weapons. These are the ones that I have. First off, you've seen this several times. And if you've looked at my EDC uh, videos, um, this is something that really gets a lot of use during the summertime. Right now when it's real hot, I have something like this in my pocket. Comes with a nice little laser there. This is the Ruger LCP. Uh, two chambered in 380. Uh, next on, uh, fairly new to the collection. This is a revolver, right? It's a nice little five shooter that you guys can see there. This is chambered in 38 special. This is the Smith and Wesson 642 airweight. Beautiful in hand, great grips, rubberized grips. Uh, very easy to to handle. Very easy to to maneuver. Uh, point shoot. And we we have it. Um, this goes along. This is like my my backup firearm on my backpack gun. This is one of my first, and it's kind of older. You might not know this one this that much. This is the Zingana F. This is all steel design. It's got some CZ clonish looking things, but what I really uh, like it and the state in my collection is that it kind of resembles like a little baby deagle. Uh, it's chambered in 9mm. It's got single action, double action um, maneuvering there. It's heavy. It's a heavy firearm, but easy to manage because of its all steel um, built. And lastly, to close out the specialty, is what I was telling you guys. This is my 1911 um, chambered in 45 ACP. This is an A1 clone. Uh, when I show this to folks and when they've seen this in my collection, they've always uh, admired that it's so close to uh, the one that they used to um, issue the army uh, back in the days. 
those of you that don't have a 45, highly encourage that you look into a 1911. Um, very fun to shoot, um, very easy to control the recoil. But yeah, this is the specialty collection. Let's move on to some of the other ones. All right, as you guys can see here, these two are by themselves. We're gonna stop a little bit on this one, just a little, not too long. These are my OGs. Uh, one, this is probably, it is the first gun that I purchased. I purchased it along with its uh, bigger brother, uh, four inch barrel. Um, this is the Springfield XDS9. It's a small little firearm, three and a half, 3.3 inch uh, barrel, and it's got a capacity, I think, of seven. And then on its side, you have the P365, just a regular one. This is, um, comes with a safety. This one is chambered in nine the same way, and this one had a capacity of 10. Now, why are these so near and dear and special in here? Is because one, this was the first firearm that I felt uh, comfortable uh, concealed carrying. Um, once I figured that I, that I can, you know, I had my permit and I, and I felt good with it. Uh, this was the very first gun that I started concealing and I really enjoyed it. I felt comfortable in hand. I practiced with it, uh, easy to, to, to work and I was pretty accurate with it. So <clears throat> this will always stay in my collection just because of, uh, sentimental value of what it has. And then my P365, uh, I want to say the most uh, hands-on time the easier easiest gun that I have that conceals uh, one of the first firearms that I uh, modified in the sense of adding upgrades and doing little things here and there and it is actually the first video that I did here on YouTube so I will never ever uh, get rid of this particular firearm because of that this is what started off this channel and it is very near and dear to my heart because of that so Springfield XDS and the P365, all right. Guys, I don't wanna jump into the middle of this video. I know you guys are enjoying this video, but I do wanna make sure I thank you guys each individually. You guys like these videos, you guys subscribe. Um, I don't know why you wanna to listen to somebody like me, but I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Again, stay tuned to the end where I'm gonna uh, be doing a little giveaway, um, a little thanks of how I can give back to you guys. You guys have given them to me. So again, don't skip out, wait to the end, and then that way you can grab some uh, free swag. But let's get back to the video. We've reached the uh, reliability part of our, of our collection. We're gonna start off here at the top. This is the most recent pickup. This is my Glock 22 chambered in a 40 Smith & Wesson uh, Gen 4. Beautiful firearm, very reliable. This was actually uh, police trading. Uh, it was a, you know, police actually issued firearm that they carried for their service. If it's good enough for them, I think it's good enough for me. But that is the the Glock uh, 22. This is the Glock uh, 48 um, single stack mag, 10 round capacity, chambered in nine mil. We've done a couple of little upgrades and you guys have seen those videos. Um, you guys are liking them as well and giving your own uh, opinion on them. But this is far from where it needs to be. We have a lot of things planned for this and a lot of things that have already been ordered, but I gotta catch up my time. Reliability on this particular firearm, very, very, very good. Um, any of the glass, you really should uh, be able to be reliable and always pick up that gun and know that it's gonna shoot. And then lastly here, I put this in here because it's part similar to that family. So you guys can see here, this decal is the PSA dagger and this little bad boy is exactly what it is. So I just recently released this video. Uh, this is a Glock 19 Gen 3 clone. And I'll tell you, Palmetto State Armory got it right. Reliability through this, um, through my first video, we shot uh, 250 rounds, one hiccup, and that was probably through crappy ammo. And now I've shot another uh, 250 more, putting it at 500, and I plan to do another 250 very soon. And still since then, only one issue. Uh, great reliability. The trigger is, you know, very different, but I find it much comfortable, much more comfortable than the than the Glock ones. The grip itself is very very comfortable and ergonomic in hand. But these three right here, 
are what I call, as part of my group, the, the most reliable firearms that I kind of have. All right, so we've moved on to our optics ready firearms and I'm gonna go through these real quick. Um, you guys saw how good I like the P365 and people kept recommending I should get something like this if I really like the P365. So uh, the people spoke about it and I got it. So this is the P365 XL. It's paired off with the Romeo Zero optic. Uh, fun gun, very comfortable in hand, more capacity. Um, We've done a little bit of work on it, some things, nothing major, but uh, this is probably one of the only firearms that I really enjoyed at first, but I've kind of, since I've gotten so many more optics, I don't see the need of where I'm putting this, so this might eventually exit uh, the collection and might sacrifice itself for something else. Uh, then we got uh, this one, which is the Ruger Max nine uh this is probably the the most inexpensive of my optics uh fire uh firearms and by inexpensive it is not cheap it is really 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 budget and it comes in with tons of things forward serrations great trigger uh nice grip um good sights uh, and a red dot that you know stands up there with the with some of the the more expensive ones in this uh rmsc footprint so this is the ruger max 9 great little firearm if you guys haven't you know been too much familiarized with this don't sleep on this this is a great pickup and lastly here we have the springfield hellcat now this guy is pretty much the guy that started all the micro uh invasion this one and the p365 uh, they fought pretty hard at the beginning of it, and a lot of folks have simulated or try to emulate a lot of the, the things that this component, this particular gun comes with, components and all that. Forward serrations, rear serrations, great sights. Uh, the trigger we've upgraded, we've done a lot of little nice things to it. Um, I don't put this in the next category that you guys are going to see right now. Even though we've done a lot of, of things to it, it still has been pretty... Uh, pretty easy on the pockets, uh, very snappy gun, but very easily to control because of how ergonomically good it feels. But that is the Springfield Hellcat Chambered in Night. All right, so the last of the, the pistol collection is what I would consider uh, my Gucci edition. Not really Gucci, it's just probably the ones that I've put the most money into it and the most reliable most fun, the most accurate, and the ones that I probably trust the most in in, uh, in all of my pistols. So this one is now my everyday carry. This is always with me, whether it be a backup, whether it's the primary, whether it's in my car, uh, on my bag, something, this always uh, has to roll with me. This is the Glock 43X. It's also my most popular one. In all of my videos, you guys have really enjoyed that one. We've had a ton of little things on this. If you guys uh, want to see more on that, come up here and you'll see um, more videos around this one. Beautiful firearm and super, super, super accurate with it. And then next up here is my SIG P320 with my Wilson Combat uh, grip module. Um, from the gate when i bought this this is the most expensive gun that i had out of the gate came the most equipped out of the box it's got a romeo one pro um modularity on this is awesome great trigger awesome sights um rack is beautiful we put paired it up with a little o light and then this grip module the wilson combat is totally comfortable in hand and both of these again pricey but they give you every single dollar that you invest in this in return as far as reliability and accuracy. Please do not um, skip through, do not click away, stay tuned to the end so I can tell you we're gonna be doing a little bit of giveaways, a couple of these things that you can see here. Uh, we're gonna be giving it to you guys um, just as appreciation uh, to getting me to 3,000. Uh, I couldn't have done it with, without the help of all of you guys, but stay tuned. And I'll tell you at the end how you guys can win this, all right? So we'll start off. Um, I didn't do too much justice to this yet. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit more on this. I've gone out to shoot with this, and it's cr 
crazy, crazy fun to, to go out there and shoot with this. This is my Savage uh, Bolt Action Chambered in 17 HMR. Love this little round. Um, looks awesome. Shoots awesome. And great little varmint uh, rifle. I'm probably going to be doing a little bit of hunting next year. Start getting into that. And I'll start with something small before I move on to something a little bit bigger. And then next off, you guys have heard me talk about this quite some time. I think if any of you don't have a 22 long rifle AR in your collection, you're missing out. With ammo prices not getting any better anytime soon, you can practice a lot of your same maneuvers, same um, skills, uh, manual arms, uh, different scenarios and all that, and be shooting at a, at a fraction of the cost. This is my MMP 1522. To close out this group, we have the most recent pickup here. This is my Ruger Charger um, 1022 uh, build project. It is coming along, as you guys can see. So there's certain things that are already on there, but there's a lot yet still to be done on this particular uh, little project. It's going to be the ultimate little backpack survival uh, firearm. We're gonna put this little bad boy in its own little category. This is shotgun. We had had a couple other shotguns, but we've gotten rid of them. And this one's probably gonna depart the family sometime down the road. I really enjoy it. It is fun to shoot, but the manual arms is a little uncomfortable. This is my radical arms shotgun, not to be confused with my radical firearms. But this is a bullpup design, which means it's awesome. It's really good in hand. Had a lot of accessories that came with it. Uh, very, very good to shoot. Eats up any kind of loads. Um, if you look at it, it actually feels like it's something out of a video game. Something that belongs in either Gears of War or Doom. Um, fun, awesome little shotgun. I just find it a little cumbersome when I go out to shoot. It is magazine fed back here. And there's a couple of little things that when I go to reload and all that makes it seem a little harder. So um, it's a great self-defense gun. I just don't think that with all the um, finagling that I, I got going on back here, it's something that I really want to keep. I want something a little bit more streamlined and simple to, to use. Here we are, we're getting to the PCCs. Um, we are missing one off the table. You guys have seen that before. And that's my PTR MP5 that is currently sitting with the guys at Rules of Engravement. Uh, we're thinking about letting that one go so it can bring in some more toys that I can bring you guys here to the channel. But uh, first off, very hard to find, very fun to shoot, um, easy to run, and this sucker eats up everything. This is the Palmetto State AKV. This is a 8K variant chambered in nine millimeter and allows you to practice those AK training scenarios, but shooting nine mil. But this little uh, range toy is so, so much fun to shoot and very accurate as well. Reliable as all hell. And then down here, um, this is my AR9. This is my Foxtrot AR9. Uh, this is the FM9 chambered in nine mil too. This is Glock fed mag. Um, a lot of ambi controls that we've done to this, a lot of upgrades that we've, we've paired up on here. Um, very small, easy to conceal. Um, this can go on my backpack without an issue. Um, we might even add a folding uh, uh, adapter here to make it even more concealable. But um, excellent little addition and you can go out there to the range and practice those CQB uh, scenarios with this and it is a hoop to shoot. So these are the PCCs uh, part of the collection. This is my Palmetto State Armory um, AK-47. This is the G3 uh, chambered in 762 by 39. Uh, if you don't have an AK to your collection, um, I don't know too much about the platform, but I would definitely recommend you this particular one. This is all American made. It's got a lifetime guarantee. And since I've had this, I've now shot probably 500, if not more, um, rounds through this, and it just eats it up. And this sucker, what I feed it, I don't give it anything good. I give it all steel ammo. I don't think I've even cleaned this particular farm, and it just shoots and shoots and shoots. 
uh, great long range shooter. I don't mean long range, but it gets out past 100 yards and you know gets on target. So, yep, this is my AK 47 chambered in 762 by 39. And as we close out this uh, video, here are my two current uh, AR 15s. We got a rifle here and a pistol up above. Both of these are my radical firearms um, AR 15s. This is a 16 inch M lock chambered in 5.56 and 2.23. Um, we got it, you know, decked out with it, a little bit of everything. We have a, a magnifier, we have uh, a vortex red dot on here. The other one, we have a folding adapter, SB3 brace, Magpul furniture across, light equipped, uh, pressure mount, uh, ambi, ambi selections all, or, all around the board. We got upgraded, you know, furniture in the back handles you you name it we got it extension controls and all that stuff so these are these are my babies these are the ones that you know uh range toys that uh when i go out there people definitely uh turn around what do you got there what are you running we're still gonna do some things onto it but i think i really like where they are right now and these suckers are very affordable and very reliable and handle everything very well all right, if you stayed this far uh, to the end, I appreciate you guys very much. Uh, very simple, I'm not gonna bore you too much. How can you win this? We got a couple of handle it grips here. Some might help you, some might not. I got a Springfield uh, for the XDS. I got for the P320, this could also fit like a Legion. I got two for the P365 uh, handle it grips, and then I have two of the Glocks. I think one is for the 19 and one is for uh, like a 26. Um, we're also gonna be giving away this little handy dandy uh, XL Tactical um, like Cantina. So you can have a your little hooch or your beverage that you can pick from. Um, and then we also have some uh, shooting rests. Uh, these you fill up with sand. It has a front one and a rear one that we're gonna be giving away. And all you really have to do to get win this is you know make sure you like this uh video again thank you guys for uh having us reach uh the 3000 mark and then just comment down below again if it's your first time you know comment something anything no matter what and for those of you that have been here quite some time comment which has been your favorite video that you have seen down below i really like to be intrigued to see uh which one it is that you guys like that's it again thank you guys very very much it's not the end of the world. I am coming up with the merch, guys, and that is another another big uh, achievement uh, based on what you guys have been supporting with. But, you know, this is a little something that I can kind of give. Um, and I am working on some more giveaways. I'm working with some other um, product uh, people. And we got some cool, exciting news coming for the channel. So please stay tuned. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Pick up.